Now let's solve this question from gate 2020 set to mechanical engineering. And this is such a question that even if you did it right or wrong, there are couple of things here and there conceptually also and strategy wise also that you can learn from this question. So it's a, a pretty decent question overall. And students are also, you know, divided in the answer of this question. Some of them think that this should be the answer. Some of them think that that should be the answer. So after watching this video till the end, not only your confusion about the answers, two different possible answers will be cleared, but also even if you did it correctly, you will still learn a couple of things from this question. So the question says that a cylindrical bar with 200 mm diameter is being turned with a tool having given geometry. Now it clearly says that it's a cylindrical bar and is being turned means turning operation is happening on lathe all right with a tool having this geometry 0 degree 9 degree 7 8 15 30 and 0 0.05 inch and this designation is also given in bracket it's in coordinate system and asa tool signature this is given now this is the most detailed tool designation gate has ever given otherwise only up to inch it is generally given and even if inch is not given this is the tool nose radius so even if the inch is not given then also you can determine what type of geometry it is we are not going to discuss that in this video i have already covered that in the courses so the question says that it is being turned with a tool having this geometry resulting in a cutting force fc1 all right so when you use this tool a cutting force needs to be applied which is fc1 okay if the tool geometry is changed to this now what is the change here 0 degree, 0 degree, 9 degree, 9, 7, 7, 8, 8, 15, 15, 30 degree. This data is changed to 0 degree here. And tool nose radius of 0 0.05 inch is still the same. Again, it said that it is in ASA coordinate system. So basically both are in ASA. So only change in tool geometry came was this angle 30 degree to 0 degree. Okay. And all other parameters remain unchanged. Now, whenever any question says, all other parameter remains unchanged question becomes little tricky because what parameters lie within all all means what all parameters are there so this is also something to learn from this question we'll talk about that remains unchanged the cutting force changes to fct so when this was the tool geometry cutting force was fc1 when the tool geometry is changed to this the cutting force also changed to fc2 okay specific cutting energy in joule per mm cube is this this is the expression u c is equal to u naught bracket t1 to the power minus 0 0.4 this is the expression for specific cutting energy where u naught is the specific energy coefficient and t1 is the uncut thickness in mm or what is uncut thickness uncut chip thickness so this is the expression given for specific cutting energy with the unit of joule per mm cube what is u naught it's a coefficient which is generally constant and t1 value is uncut t1 is uncut thickness or uncut chip thickness in mm now there are possibilities where question can also play in the units right but this is not the question it is also in mm cube uncut chip thickness is also in mm everything is fine with the units it is asking you the value of percent percentage change in cutting force fc2 that is fc2 minus fc1 divided by fc1 multiplied by 100 is how much so it is basically asking you the value of percentage change in cutting force fc2 question could have ended there but this question is according to me over informative so question also gave you the expression which is to be used to find out the value of percentage uh, change in cutting force okay and it is asking you to round off to one decimal place this is the question now let's discuss how to solve this question now if you want to solve such questions from turning i have taught you that this diagram is a very important and crucial diagram that you must know and fully understand right and this is the same diagram that we are going to use here this is the tool which is going to be used for the turning process this surface here is the bigger surface it's a cylindrical surface right it's just a part of big cylindrical surface that we have shown here so this is unfinished surface and tool is coming and doing the turning this is the finished surface this let's say here is the feed this is the depth of cut depth of cut is the perpendicular distance from the finished to unfinished surface 
and this is the width of chip or width of cut. Now again I am not going in the details of this diagram as we are discussing something else here. So I will take it from uh, here that you know this diagram what this diagram is. This feed here is the true feed. It is question has given you that it is T1 not again going into the details of it right now. Okay. Now have a look at the designation given in the question only this and this were different and these angles are side cutting edge angle as we know from ASA knowledge. So this angle is 30 degree in the first case and this angle lambda which I have shown here is 0 degree in the second case. The angle representation may vary you might have uh, you might use some other uh, designation does not matter. So this lambda in the first case is 30 in the second case this lambda becomes 0 degree and these two cutting forces you need to compare okay. Now the question has given that specific cutting energy is denoted by this expression right in joule per mm cube and we also know that specific cutting energy or specific cutting requirement is given by the work spent in machining divided by MRR material removal rate right which is FCVC divided by WT1 V1. Again, I am not going into the detail of this expression. We know about this. VC, VC will get cancelled and we will get FC divided by WT1 as this expression. This is the expression that we know from the knowledge that we have. And this expression is given in the question for the same uh, parameter. So what we will do? We will equate this with the given expression. So this is the expression that we will get. And in this expression, if you bring WT1 here, then you will get FC is equal to U0 T1 to the power minus 0.4 multiplied by WT1. This is the expression of cutting force. Why we did this? Because question is asking to compare cutting forces. So we will find out the expression for cutting force as we have just done here. Now the important uh, discussion starts. What students do in this case is that some of them multiply T1 to the power 1 with T1 to the power minus 0 0.4 to simplify the expression. And what they write? They write this because its power is 1, its power is minus 0 0.4. So they will get added which will get subtracted because it is minus. So they will get T1 to the power minus T1 to the power 0 0.6 and then width of cut W will be here. And then they see that all other parameters remain unchanged. So width of cut uh, parameter will also remain unchanged. So W is a constant. So this directly right that cutting force is directly proportional to T1 to the power 0 0.6 since W is a constant and U0 is also a constant. And this T1 which is uncut chip thickness here in the diagram it can be written in terms of feed how this angle is lambda this angle here will also be lambda and this angle is let's say denoted by phi. So how it can be written? that f sin phi in this triangle look at this triangle in this triangle f cos phi is this f sin phi is t1 so t1 is written as f sin phi to the power 0.6 and since f again is a parameter feed is the parameter cutting parameter which is constant so they directly write that cutting force is proportional to sin phi to the power 0.6 and now phi changes means because this angle changes this is lambda here we have taken this angle as lambda so lambda changes so phi changes so what will be the change in cutting force? They calculate from this expression which is incorrect. You cannot do it like this. You cannot multiply this t with this t. Now you will definitely think why it is the basic mathematical operation that we can perform anywhere. In this case you cannot do it and there is a very basic conceptual reason, reason behind it which you must know if you have uh, you know covered this topic in good sense. Look W T1 this is width of cut this is uncut chip thickness whether this is a parameter which will remain constant in cutting or not when question clearly mentioned that all other parameter remain unchanged so any normal student will think that these this w width of cut is also a parameter which will remain unchanged and you will proceed with the question but have a look at the process of machining what is happening in the process of machining a definite size of cylinder will be given to you you have to perform the turning to reduce its diameter to a definite size right you are feeding it at a particular rate now what you do you just change the tool everything is same in the setup the feed with which it is moving initial and final size that you have to turn it to that will also not change you just change the tool with a new tool having new geometry so feed is definitely not going to change and since 
the initial and final dimension are also not changing so depth of cut will not change this d here will not change this is showing the initial size and this is showing the size after turning you cannot change the product if question gave you 50 mm rod initially and asked it to reduce it to 40 mm so you cannot reduce it to 30 mm and then compare the cutting force that will be a totally different turning altogether in the turning that we are discussing and that is said to be constant initial and final size cannot change otherwise you have made a totally different product you have moved away from the question so since initial final size will not change depth of cut will not change depth of cut is the perpendicular distance between unfinished and the finished surface so d is constant feed is obviously constant so again coming back to the question whether w is constant or not let's see we know that feed and depth of cut are not changing so let's do one thing let's convert width of cut and uncut chip thickness into those terms which we know that are constant which are feed and depth of cut so w t1 how we can write this w we can write this as w cos lambda and t1 let's say we are writing as t1 by cos lambda we can do this because cos lambda cos lambda will get cancelled ultimately it will be w t1 so we have multiplied and divided cos lambda to numerator and denominator w cos lambda this is the triangle w cos lambda is d and t1 cos lambda have a look at this triangle now f cos lambda is t1 so t1 by cos lambda is f so w t1 is equal to d multiplied by f this is again something which we have thoroughly covered in the course right and d and f are constant as i just explained to you when it says all other parameters are unchanged definitely these two parameters are unchanged so what does it tell you that the product of w t1 will be unchanged now coming back to the geometry tool geometry you can see that side cutting edge angle was 30 degree initially this lambda was 30 and in the second tool geometry it was made 0 degree so this line will become like this right and in that case you can clearly see that this width of cut this width of cut is from here to here right so this width of cut will become straight that will become equal to d so that will change if d n and f are not changing right so clearly width of cut individually is changing this uncut chip thickness also individually will change you can see that from any of these expressions like f is equal to or from here you can see t1 is f sin phi t1 is f sin phi or in terms of cos you can see t1 is f cos lambda since f is constant but phi or lambda which is 90 minus phi they will change so definitely t1 will also change feed is constant angle is changing right in terms of lambda also you can write it at t1 is equal to f cos lambda so lambda is changing feed is constant so t1 will also change so individually w means width of cut is changing in the second case it becomes equal to d individually t1 is also changing but their product is constant because their individual variations cancel out in f multiplied by d so what, wherever you get, get the question of turning I told you it is very important to understand this diagram and you need to convert W T1 to F multiplied by D to avoid any confusion. F multiplied by D will be constant in this case. So what do we see from here that since this product is constant just like U0 is constant. So only T1 to the power minus 0.4 is going to affect the cutting force. Correct. So and, and T1 can be written as sine can be written as F sine phi and again feed is a constant so you can directly write that cutting force is proportional to sin phi to the power minus 0.4 so this approach is incorrect now using this expression you need to proceed and find out the answer the question asked you to find out the percentage change in the cutting force fc2 and expression also was given to you so this can be simplified fc2 by fc1 minus fc1 by fc1 is 1 and since cutting force is directly proportional to sin phi so we can write is fc2 as sin phi2 divided by sin phi1 and what is phi phi is 90 minus lambda right this angle this angle is 30 degree in the first case so phi will be 60 degree in the first case 90 minus 30 and in the second case lambda is 0 so phi will be 90 
So 52 is 90, 51 is 60. To put the values here, you simplify it, you will get this as the answer. Again, the question asked you to round it up to one place of decimal. So this you have to write as minus 5.6. And also there is one more place where some of the students have made mistake. They have put 5.6 as the answer, not the minus 5.6. Look, the question asked you what will be the change, percentage change. Change can be positive as well as negative. Also, it asks you the value of it, not the magnitude of it. The value of percentage change. Value can also be positive or negative. And on the top of that, the question directly gave you the expression to be used. As I told you, it's over informative question. This diameter was also given of 200 mm. It doesn't have any use in the question. So question directly gave you the expression to be used, right? And value of percentage change can be positive as well as negative. So answer is to be put in negative also after rounding off to one place of decimal. So answer is minus 5.6. Okay.